Hey, what's going on everybody? Ed here bringing you another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing um, arcade style high score. We're going to have one set high score. The player score beats that score. It's going to get stored into web storage locally. So the next time you launch the game, that high score will be there. So basically that high score will always be in place until it is beaten. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is add three text objects for our scores. Um, yes. Okay. So we'll have our score. And we're going to make that yellow. And let's go ahead and just make it bold. Just so you can see it a little better. Okay. So there's the score. And then let's clone that and do high score. All right. Put that right in the middle for everyone to see. And then we're going to make one more text box. Um, actually, let's text high score and text score text game over <clears throat> all right this is just to show something when you know the game is over so we know all right so put that right. <coughs> excuse me right in the middle and we're going to make that invisible all right and the last thing we need to do from here is add the web storage object Okay, now let's head over to our event sheet. Um, I created um, some offense for the for the player, so press X, he shoots bullets. When the bullets hit the enemies, <clears throat> the enemies are destroyed. Okay, so the first things you need to do here are add a global variable for the score and a global variable for the high score. Okay. And then we we're going to need to create a score. So each time a bullet collides with an enemy, we are going to add two. The score. Uh, let's say it's worth 100 points. Okay. And then every tick, we want to update the player's score. We'll have it say score and score the variable okay and then we're going to need to create um, a game over <clears throat> event so oops when the player's health is equal to or less than zero all right we're the first thing we're going to do is we're going to destroy the health bar because it, it'll do weird things when the <clears throat> if it gets into the negatives so we'll just flat out destroy it so that won't be an issue and we're going to make the game over text visible all right and we're going to set the time scale to zero just so everything kind of stops. <clears throat> and now that we're thinking about it, now that we're doing that, let's create an on startup layout. And we're going to set the scale to 1. That way if you add um, <clears throat> like a reset button or something and it restarts the layout, it'll reset the time scale back to 1. Okay. So there we go. All right, so now we're going to get into the web storage stuff. <clears throat> so what we want to do first is we want to check to see if our high score key in the web storage exists. Because if it doesn't exist, then we can't have it <clears throat> be there as soon as the layout starts up for the very first time. So on start of layout, we're going to add a sub event. Okay, <clears throat> and web storage. Local key exists, and the key is going to be high 
score. And this is case sensitive, which I found out. All right. So local key exists, high score. So if it exists, we're going to take that value and we're going to set it to our variable. All right. So we're going to set value high score to web storage local value. Get the value from the local key from the key in local storage. Okay. And our key is high score. All right. <clears throat> and then we're going to set our high score text box to high score and high, our high score global variable that we just set to the web storage. Okay. Now, if it doesn't exist, what we want to do is we really want to just set the high score to zero. Set value high score to zero. And then we want to set the text of the high score to high score. score. Okay. So now we do a check if the high score key already exists that it's going to set the high score global variable to whatever we have it stored as. If it doesn't exist it's going to set it to zero. So basically this first run through will set a new high score. Okay. So with that said, <clears throat> down here on the game over we want to do a check Um, we want to add a sub event. And we want to compare a variable, and we want to know if the player score is greater than the high score. Okay? And if it is, we're going to set the local value of high score, right? Our key, high score. Oops. No space to the value of the player score. All right, and if it doesn't, then we don't do anything. We don't have to reset the high score at all. It'll stay in place. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's give this a quick run through. Let's see if we got it right. All right, so right now my score is zero. I'm gonna shoot some stuff. All right, now my score is 800. Game over. So I'll just do a quick refresh, and there's the new high score, 800. Let's see if I can beat that. Oh, 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 okay, 1,200. That is my new high score. Refresh, 1,200. All right. So there you go. Another simple tutorial. How to set a high score arcade style. All right, guys, have any other suggestions? Um, let me know. Uh, do a video as quick as I can.